Why are these fools still breathing my air? This is unacceptable! What's going on, brebs and brevets? It's your boy, Turtle the Black, and today we are going to be talking about the bosses of Warframe. Now, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm going to try to make this video as quick and as brief as possible, just trying to let you guys know the best like tips and tricks to get the, rid of these bosses and make sure that you can progress as fast and as quickly as possible. Now, let's start off with Captain Vorp. Easiest, one of the easiest bosses in the game, in my opinion. Uh, he's actually really, really simple to just get past. The level in Mercury is really simple. Um, the, the ads that he spawns are not too bad either. Uh, so for Captain Vor, he's got essentially three phases, but he does pretty much the same thing in each one of them. Uh, once you get to him, kill him once. His health is going to go down to zero. He's going to put up a shield, spawn some people, and heal himself. And you just do this twice. Just drop his health immediately. No trick, no gimmicks, just bring a good frame, bring a good weapon, drop his ass, done, no problem. Captain Moore is easy as fuck. Uh, boss scale rating, probably 3 out of 10. Moving on to Venus, we have the Jackal, it's a corpus quadruped. For him, I'd bring a very heavy impact weapon, preferably with magnetic damage or blast damage if you have it. Uh, Serenos Prime, Euphona Prime, both of these weapons work very well. Does anything with really high impact damage would do wonders for this fight. Um, when you get to Jackal, he's going to just stomp a lot, uh, be wary of that. Jump inside of the shockwave so you don't get knocked over and potentially pushed off the edge. And shoot at his legs and do as much damage as possible. And then as soon as he goes down, start shooting at his head. Bang, 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 he's going to be down probably about 30 seconds, no problem. Jackal's a really easy fight. If you don't have something with high impact on it, um, try getting the uh, mine ospreys try shooting them first and try to picking up the energy from them it'll really help just kind of keep you on top of your game and just doing continuous damage to the jackal if you don't have a really high damaging weapon uh, next up we have uh counselor Vakek on earth uh he is a bit of a pain in the ass because he floats around in his uh first form so a couple of different things you can do for this. To negate his magnetism, uh, you can use Neza with Firewalker, which negates all status effects, or you can use Oberon's uh, Hallowed Ground, which pretty much does the same thing. Um, you could bring a Nova to slow him down, or you could bring a Loki. So if you use Invisibility, he won't target you, so you can just use a uh, good weapon, shoot him in the face. Or if you shoot at the glowing, uh, I guess, little spot on his back whenever he uses his uh, magnetic discharge thing, that's, there's a little area on his back that'll start glowing. If you shoot at that, it's a little bit easier of a target to hit besides his face. You have to hit his face in order to get him to move into the next uh, phases of the fight. When he gets into the terror frame, he's a lot easier, honestly. Um, just bring a weapon with good puncture and preferably corrosive damage for this fight, and he'll go down in a matter of seconds as soon as he gets into that terror frame. Next up, we have Let Krill, and uh, Let Krill is a bit tricky. Um, you find him on Mars, and... What you want to do is bring weapons that have different damage types, either like Slash, Puncture, Impact, Fire, uh, Cold, Toxin, Electricity, Radiation, Corrosive, stuff like that. Just make sure you have multiple types of damage. Uh, when you get to him, shoot into his little core on his back, so circle with some tubes, and eventually one of the tubes will break, and he will do an Ice Wave attack. You may try to stay within melee range of him so he doesn't shoot at you with the Gorgon. Um, he'll do an ice wave attack and then he'll freeze himself and then you can do damage. As soon as he goes into a second phase, drop him. He's easy as shit as soon as he gets into that second phase. Next up we have the sergeant on Phobos and he's not a boss. He's just not. He's not. Fight him, you'll see what I'm talking about. He's not a boss. Uh, next up is Let Krill and Vor on Ceres. Um, so I pretty much already talked about both of these. They're not too different uh, together. They're a little bit tougher, but not really. Vor still goes down like a fucking sack of bricks and Let Krill is not that much worse. Uh, next up we have Salad V and Zanuka on Jupiter. Um, pretty much what I do for this fight is bring like Volt or Valkyr for added disrespect and just target the shit out of Alad V until um, Zanuka comes over and tries to pick him up and then just kick the shit out of Zanuka, they're both good die, and you can hear Salad V crying like a little bitch when you beat him. Uh, next up is Europa and the Raptor. Now this fight has changed uh, fairly recently, so what you want to do for this, um, bring again a really high impact weapon. Uh, Volt works wonders for this, using electric shield to help you avoid the high damaging uh, blasts and laser beams that the Raptor fires. Um, 
you take down a raptor, they're going to drop this bomb, and you drop the bomb into the conveyor system, and it'll blow up this, like, underground facility that produces the raptors. It'll blow up in, like, five seconds, so be quick about it. <laughs> um, if you don't manage to get the bomb into the facility, then another one will spawn. Just repeat the process. It's not too hard of a fight, but it can be kind of tedious if you don't get the bombs in there in time. Uh, raptors do a lot of damage, so make sure you bring some hefty frames or somebody that can shield you. Uh, next is, oh boy, Sargus Cuck on Saturn. Um, he and Let Krill are pretty similar. Uh, he's going to attack you, and then when he overheats himself, his uh, cores will expose. There's going to be this bright blue light. You can't miss it. Um, just shoot at it. He's going to have iframes until that thing is open, until that, uh, the core is open. So just when the core opens up, shoot at the core. Otherwise, don't waste your bullets trying to shoot at him because it's not going to do you any good. Stay in melee range. Um, bring Frost, preferably, so you can slow him down, make his moves really telegraphed. And he's not too bad of a fight. Uh, after that, we have one of my favorite bosses, Taylor Gore on Uranus. I bring Nova for this fight personally because when you use Molecular Prime, you slow him down considerably. He's less teleporting and stuff. Same goes for the Grenier Manix. It really just kind of makes the fight a lot more manageable. Uh, first thing I'm going to say is bring a high damage weapon, preferably puncture. Second, stay out of the water. It's not worth it. Um, at the third phase, he gets electrified as well, so you don't want to be in that when that happens. Um, Taylor Gore is not too bad of a fight either. Uh, the Manix can be a bit of a problem if you're not adequately prepared for them, and he can also do some serious damage. So a Nova is really useful because you can slow him down with him like a prime. Uh, after Taylor Gore is the hyena pack and fun fact uh the more people you bring to this fight the more hyenas you have to actually fight so the easiest way to do this kind of is to try to do it on solo you only have to deal with two of them and hopefully you will have to deal with the one that drains all your energy just from being nearby it it's a pain in the ass i fucking hate this boss but uh there are some clever ways around it um i found that Nidus with uh the larva and the virulence uh combo works pretty well with them drops them pretty quickly uh, another one which i recently tested is uh ash and fatal teleport and bring a dagger rack and dark dagger uh Charist, dark dagger heat dagger sheave something like that and then try to get as much damage as possible and then put finishing touch and covert lethality on it and then get the fatal teleport augment for ash and you can literally kill him in one hit i've tested it it works covert lethality Finishing Touch, Fatal Teleport, Ash, Ash Prime. It's fantastic, trust me. Uh, next up, we have Ambulance on Pluto. Pretty much the same tactic, except a lot easier. Ambulance is not just a MOA that does fire shit. It's not really all that intense. Uh, next up, we have Lephantis. And... I'm not, I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen it yet, because Lephantis is like literally my favorite boss, because I have some pretty good memories uh, with that fight, like the first time I fought him was fantastic, but um, Nova helps a lot here too, if you slow him down, um, he's infested to so bring slash damage, fire damage, he's a bit of a tank and you can only hit in certain weak spots, but he's not too bad, his moves are pretty telegraphed, and they don't do too much damage either, so... Not too terrible of a fight. Uh, last but not least in this video, we have Kella the Thame. And <laughs> I don't really know what to tell you as far as her. Just go through the phases, honestly. Uh, automatics are probably better for this just because of the uh, panels that you have to shoot. Um, Limbo, I know, makes this fight really easy because the uh, missiles and shit won't damage you. And so it just kind of, you can just blaze, blaze through these phases no problem. Uh, for Kella, personally, I like taking bows um, and, and like an automatic secondary, like the Axolotl Prime for the uh, panels. But I like taking my um, Paris Prime and just outfit it with Corrosive and just shoot her a couple of times in the face and she goes down. Not too bad of a fight, but it's definitely one of the more interesting ones. Now, I know we didn't cover everybody. I know I missed Mutilus, Allard V, and the Jordis Golem. And I think that's all, unless you want to count Corrupted Four, which I don't really count as a boss because he doesn't have like his own arena or anything. Um, the reasons why I didn't add Mutalist LOV and the Jordis Golem to this video is because I didn't 
well, A, we, <laughs> me and my friend Colin didn't want to fight the Droidus Golem because, I mean, he's a bit of a pain in the ass and Arcwing is just... <sighs> and then uh, we didn't have Mutilus Salad B coordinates because we did a previous boss run and we uh, used up all of our coordinates. So we, we will do a bo another boss run uh, pretty soon and you can watch the... Um, the boss run that we did for this video, uh, I will be posting that right after this. So you can watch our uh, unedited, unfiltered, and unreaded uh, run through of a majority of the bosses in Warframe. Um, but I do really enjoy the Mutalist Allied V fight. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty fun to watch uh, some of your teammates go down by your own hand. So, um, But for that fight, you can only kill Alid when you uh, when he takes off his collar and throws it at somebody else or uh, but if you bring Loki trivial fight not really a problem as far as the Jordis Golem goes um, I heard just kind of like from testing and listening from just word of mouth and whatnot uh, the best two arc wings to take for this would be Itzel and Odinata slash Odinata Prime uh, Odinata can use energy shell which gives you that little damage boost and Itzel uses uh, Blink to traverse quickly and just kind of keep up with the Jordis Golem. Penumbra keeps you from taking damage because enemies won't target you. Cosmic Crush helps deal with adds, and the uh, fighter drones also help deal with adds as well as add a little bit extra damage. Um, but the Jordis Golem is just a, it's, it's a bullet sponge. It's a massive fucking flying bullet sponge, and it's such a tedious and annoying fight. So bring some good friends with Arc Wings for that one, because if you do it solo, you're going to be there a while. But uh, other than that, that's really all I've got for you guys this week. Uh, stay tuned for the unfiltered and unrated and unedited Boss Wave video coming right after this. And I will see you guys next week for a very special episode of Warframe Weeklies. And uh, let me know if there's uh, some special tips you've got for other Tenno in, in the comments. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed this video. And... Um, yeah, just let me know if there's like something I missed, uh, some kind of interesting strategy you've got for fighting a certain boss, or something interesting about the boss, something funny to say, or just let me know if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next week. Peace out. Ah! <laughs> uh... <laughs>